Olympians, Association of Jamaica, and Friends of Jamaica Track and Field, on behalf of my fellow recipients, I thank you for this wonderful evening. It is, it, it, is with, it is a great feeling to be recognized for one's hard work. This recognition proves to us that you paid attention to the significant body of work that we, the Jamaican Olympians, have done over the years. Our dedication, the unwavering commitment, our resilience, and our will to succeed has brought us this far. Gone are the days when our Olympic team struggle to ensure that they get a bronze medal. We are now living in the golden era. We are now accustomed to taking all three medals on, in, on offer in premier events like the 100 and the 200s. And no longer are we confined to earn medals only on the track. We have grown tremendously and have stretched our boundaries and success way beyond the field of our frail, frail circumstances. As a matter of fact, we have made a significant progress in sports outside of our traditional areas of track and field. Swimming, gymnastics, bobsledding, diving are just a few of the notable areas of sporting discipline that we have ventured into and heal great success. So, Gone are the days when our participation were confined to only the Summer Olympics. We may, we, my friends, are now regular particip participants at the Winter Olympics. We have grown and grown tremendously. Like I said before, it is a great feeling, a great feeling, and I'm gonna say that again. It is a great feeling to know that someone has noticed and someone has taken the time out to honor us. Thank you so much. This evening, we are simply overwhelmed by this wonderful occasion an opportunity to participate in this uplifting function. To the, to the organizers, we say thank you. Your effort this evening to honor us will serve to strengthen and continue to encourage us to greater success. And to harness our will and perseverance behind but beyond our limitations. You see, it is people like you who keep the Olympic grid, memories, and flame alive and well, burning and shining in us, inside out. And if I may, ladies and gentlemen, this function, see, functions like these helps me to have flashbacks. And it would be not a good thing for me not to share a little bit of my younger days, my younger journey. And my sister Janice, you hear her big mouth over there, <laughs> can attest to these things. You know, it is functions like these that bring joy of tears to my eyes. I remember those days in Trelawney. And I have to talk about those days because those were the days that helped me to stand here as I is Turner today. Those are the days what I'm gonna talk to you about that helps me to now be one of the 
top coaches in my conference in the USA. And I want to share this with you. I may be showing off, but I think I show off, you know. I think I talk about the blessing of the Lord. Um, I went to my, I'll just talk about the last school that I'm at right now. I went there 2017. And 2017, since then, we won 17 championships. The school, the total championships for all our total sports, we won 17 championships. Out of that, I can thank God and just lift my hands to heaven and praise Him. Because out of those 17 sports, track and field cross country won 11. And so that makes me 11 time coach of the year. Overall, I am a 19 times coach of the year. God is great. And I am just saying this because of the little things that I'm going to talk to you about. And I said this a lot when I come to the Jamaica American Convention, sometimes at the convention center, or you know, I mean, share these little things when it comes on to the little, my, my high school here, tech, and some other schools, but everybody needs to know this. So the way Inez and her sisters, you know, the Turner sisters, start Middle East and mainly coming back, doing great in Middle East and this time running in Jamaica, right? Remember Janice, Yvette, and, 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 um, and Inez, and of course, Janice is standing over there. Um, the way we got started was as little girls, Four, maybe three, do you know? But four, I can remember, four or five years old, my dad used to just wake us up. And I have no boy, so he just he just used to say, well, there is no male in the family, so you guys are gonna be my male. So we were the male of the family. My dad used to plant a lot of three months crop. You know what three months crops are? Okay, the cabbage, the tomato, and all that stuff, and you know, you have to get up every single morning to go water them. Now, my dad wasn't buying no machinery because he said he has the machinery of at home. And you know who those were. So we have to get up every single morning, 4.30 dawn, 5 o'clock. And for some reason, my dad would just say, hey girls, come on, get up, get up, get up. And you know, morning sleep, nice, you know. But you dare not say no to your dad. So he would wake us up. And he would say, come on, go and get the dew on your foot. You know, from your, your parents say something, you're going to believe in it. You get the dew on your foot, you'll get strong. And we got up, and he would say, just girls, go run. Like, go run. I thought we were just need to go water the, 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 the cabbage and stuff like that. He said, no, go run first. And at first, we were wondering why we need to run first. But anyways, as I said, you don't question your parents. You go do what they said. Start running four to five, anywhere between four to seven miles in the hilly terrain of Trelawney. And we would get up every single morning again at 4.30 dawn. We used to find enough pound and all them Sunday on the road. Remember, Janice? We used to find some English pound, stuff like that. But get up every morning and we would go run. And for some reason, we, we started loving it so much. We started calling it our fun run. That is how we used to be competitors because I used to compete against Janice and Yvette and we just used to kill it. But after our fun run, we would have to get the bucket, go to the acres of land, and we have to water every single root of three months crop, every one of them. And then we have to do all of them, you know, we can't skip none because then you come after that and look if everything wet. So we have to do that. And that would take me the another two miles now. I want you to get your maths book, your brain out. Anywhere between four to seven miles. And then we go do the, cap, the, the three months cap, cap, uh, cross, maybe another two miles because it's a lot. And then after that, we have a couple of cows. And guess who have to milk them? The sisters have to go milk the cows and then not just take home the milk, we have to distribute the milk to the community. That may be another mile and a half. And then after that, we would sometimes be a little bit late. We have to run home. Now, this is before 8 o'clock because we have to reach Greater Big Early School before 8 o'clock or 8 o'clock under that. And this would be another mile and a half, two miles away from where we live. And we now get no lunch money. 
So 12 o'clock, daddy said, look here, I can't meet, I can't meet, I can't meet, I can't come for lunch. So we now get no lunch money. And we would run home, and then we have to go back, and then in the evening, we would have to run home again. How many miles is that? Well, let me put the maths together. Let me tell you how we start this thing. So, you got seven, let me call it seven, because really I kind of seven, you know. So seven miles for our front run, another one and a half, two miles for to, to take care of the three months crap, another one and a half, two to take care of the coding, and then another one and a half for run to the home, and then one more mile or two more miles to go to the school and come back. How much miles is that? 13 sometimes, finally go for here. Now let me tell you something. I am happy that I didn't we did not phone and we listen our to our parents and we got the opportunity because God knew what why he was doing these things. Now look at what God has done. I would not give it up for anything. And so I just want to leave that because never I never gonna now get out of my story. So thank you for reminding us and one like me. Uh, of the challenge that motivates us to remain extraordinary. Thank you. Fantastic. Just start all over again.